like this, pen and paper, impossible. Remember my heart? Well, I don't think you have such a good memory, do you? In fact, many, many Hong Kongers, including myself actually, nowadays use the internet to record their daily lives. This is one of the reasons why people go blogging. With so many people becoming bloggers, there is one question we seem to be neglecting. How blogging influences our daily life? Oops. Blogging. Blogging is very popular nowadays. People write blogs for various reasons. Most people consider blogs an honor diary. They can both keep record of their memory and also share them with others. While some others aim to share their work with others, they use blogs as a medium to publish their articles or even online novels. Photography aficionados place their exquisite work on their blogs. Companies, organizations, and film producers may also promote their brands and products through blogs. Blogs really have many uses, and further growth in the variety of its use is conceivable. But how? No one can tell. Okay, let's see how she's doing. To meet the great demand for blogging service, companies arose one by one. These service providers include Zango, Blogger, MSN Spaces, Yahoo, Sina, Navigator, MySpace, Hexnet, Weblog, and many others. According to a recent survey, the percentage of people keeping a blog is 78%. On the amount of time spent in writing blogs a day, 88% claims to use less than one hour to do so. About 8% uses one to two hours, and the remaining 4% uses over two hours. Other than time used in writing blogs, that of reading blogs should also count towards the total time of blogging of a person a day. The survey shows that 55% of people use less than one hour in reading blogs, 40% use one to two hours. 4% use 2 to 3 hours, and 1% use over 3 hours. From the results, we can see that the average time used for blogging for one person a day is about 1.7 hours, which is equal to 51.7 hours per month, 620 hours per year, 37,222 minutes a year, and finally, 2,233,332 seconds a year. If it takes 3 minutes for a person to go to the washroom, it means that the time you spend in blogging is as much as going to the washroom for 12,407 times a year. The major contents of blogs show a wide variety. As many as 41% of people use blogs to record their daily lives. 33% use them to express emotions. 17% share their arts or literature in blogs. 10% write blogs for sharing interests and hobbies. And 6% comment on news and issues in their blogs. In addition to entertainment and the different uses of blogging, there are some positive effects that we may not notice. Let's see what Benny says. I frequently read blogs because, in my work, I meet many gifts and, in quite a lot of time, I want to understand their situations, their daily lives, or see whether or not there are things that worry them do their blogs. On average, I think I use about 30 minutes to read lots a day. If you ask me whether or not there are any impacts, I think it is a new way for people to understand themselves 
from blogs of many people, I am contenting. It can be seen that they will selectively writing words that have some messages, and these messages may be helping them to build the images. Let me point out that blogging can provide a medium for people to build their images. The research is actually it is convenient for me to do because I always help dealing with teenage problems and in society. I contact many teenagers, both students and non-students. Then I realize writing blogs or zangyo, which is more popular in the district and also in Hong Kong, is many people's habit. If he is willing to use blog as a medium, since he thinks this medium is secure, still writing his worries out, and from honest replies, or simply only writing them out. It actually can help him to express his worries deep in his heart. From this perspective, blogging is a new, useful, and secure tool for him to contact with others. If he only has this medium, we are worried. If he has got one more medium, we are happy. Many people refuse to consult a social worker when they have worries. Therefore. Blogging is truly a valuable way to express one's emotions and things kept in mind for a long time. This can help a lot of teenagers and even adults to solve their mental difficulties. However, if we spend too much time blogging, it may not work out the same. I think I use about 20 to 25 minutes to write blogs a day. For reading blogs, mm, about 45 minutes a day, sometimes an hour. How many people write blogs? Well, actually, all my friends write blogs. As we can clearly see in the statistics, blogging actually uses up a great amount of time in our daily life. It can cause many misunderstandings, untrue imaginations, and can also, in the points of view, hurt their feelings. In daily life, if he only uses this kind of indirect method of communication, but in lack of, or even completely refuses some direct contacts among people, then we will be worried. Blogging needs to diminish communication and worsen relationship between people. People chat less because they have already known much about each other's daily lives through their blogs. And it is silly to ask them for something they know. Also, people leave comments on certain blog entries, which provide an odd medium for communication. Hence, face to face communication between friends has become less. Blogging is undoubtedly a successful new creation that adds colors to the internet. Do you know that it can help people with a happy heart? Have you imagined that it can help you build your self image? On the other hand, have you considered the time you have used in blogging? Have you noticed you have less face-to-face -face communication with others? Are you addicted to blogging? These are some questions you might not have thought about before. Does blogging do more good than bad? We should all think again.